Hi everyone, this is just a quick video. So um, I'm back after a long hiatus of not <laughs> doing any product testing or product review. But actually what I'm going to test now is not something that I bought for myself. I actually won these two items here from my teacher in oil painting. So it's actually this year's first time. It's my first time to try oil painting. So uh, the same teacher also conducts um, uh, Wash, wash art uh, classes as well as uh, pastel oil or oil pastel, soft pastel class. So because I availed um, six sessions of her classes this year, or rather five sessions, so I got, uh, I, I was one of the students who got to participate in her raffle draw and I, I also got a free uh, gouache painting class from her. So these are the prizes that I got. This is uh, a Trevor journal journal that has um, watercolor, blank watercolor pages inside. And I love this because um, it also has this nice, um, uh, what you call this? Poster cards, I believe. And then some sticker packs and <laughs> some stuff that you can add on your pages if you have one of this. Um, I, plan, I plan to bring this with me when I go on field work. And uh, last week of this month, I'm going on a geological field work in Bicol. So I might, I might uh, sketch and paint all the outcrops that I will see there in this blank journal. Another prize that I'm so excited to open. This is my first time to really unbox this one, and I will get to. Um, I am going to swatch this one today. Here's this video. So this is a Mary's artist color. So it has one plastic box, 36 watercolor pens, two fountain pen, one natural sponge, and a ceramic dish. So I'm glad that I got the, uh, I, I received this one because uh, I have been using my own personal watercolors for my free classes for homeschoolers. So uh, it's nice, it's very timely that I got this one because at least now I can have, um, I can, <laughs> I have free stuff to use on my free watercolor classes okay so here it is so nice because uh, it has this um, white uh, mixing palettes okay and here also another layer of mixing palette and then I have this um, paper here to swatch these colors here and then it comes with two water brushes it's nice because uh, if I travel I would be able to use this one although I do already have a set of watercolor brushes uh, that are like this and they're uh, and they are um, really nice also so this is it looks like a natural sponge and then it has this um, ceramic um, I honestly don't know what this is for but uh, maybe it's for Dipping the brush, I'm not so sure. I haven't used any of it, but this I know how to use this one. Okay, so uh, the colors are 36. So I noticed that um, this has larger um, pan for yellow and blue, but not for red. But it does come with different types of red, so I'm quite happy. Okay, so I'm going to switch. Uh, I'm going to use my Bao Hong student grade cotton paper to swatch this one because I also want to teach uh, those who will be using um, those who will buy my my blocks so I, I'm, I'm actually creating art kits for my uh, website and for my students in art and uh, part of the reason why I'm having this video now, shooting this video, is because I want to show them how to use a block. Because I'm going to sell them this one of these blocks soon, okay? So I'll be back in a bit. So for today, I'm going to swatch. If you notice, my circles are not aligned. So I made this in a hurry and I didn't align it on 
purpose because I'm not that OC. But today I'm going to swatch all these colors. I only have like 24 uh, circles here. I'm gonna do the other switching in another uh, swatching in another paper. Okay, so let's start with the first one here, which is black. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is the equivalent of Mars black here. So so far looks pigmented. I'm using my uh, Neef brush, size zero. Okay, it's a mop brush, and it's uh, Alvaro Castagne series. like a warm gray here so one of the caveats of this one though is that I don't have the name of the colors <laughs> I went past my circle but it's fine <laughs> okay so this is brown some sort of transparent brown I believe this one is burnt shenna or something like reddish clay color. This must be the burnt shenna. Yeah, this one is burnt sienna. Okay, then this is this is probably um phthalo blue. We have a little bit phthalo blue. Well, this one is wow. They have seen purple, I believe. Well, this one is indigo blue. And this one is, oh, this must be Taylor blue, and this one is cobalt blue. Maybe. Or cerulean blue. The other one is probably cerulean blue. And this one is, um, looks like hooker's green. See, let's see the other blues here. This one is also purple, but the lighter one. Okay. And this, ah, so this one is the cobalt. Okay. Looks like vintage so far. Okay, I'm a little impressed because uh, Maris is Mar Maris is one of the uh, watercolors that. So the grade watercolors that uh, I have used so far, and it's great. I mean, for 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 those who are beginners, it's probably one of the cheapest options you can try if you're still exploring um, watercolors. So this one is sap green. Uh, I find the sap green a little too light, but maybe it's just because I had too much water on my. This one, this brush really, really holds a lot of water, so. It's perfect for washes. This one is emerald green. And this one is probably um oh this is sap green. This one is looks like lime green. I'm not sure how to name these colors because it doesn't have a name in this palette, or maybe I have missed it. Or maybe it's in Chinese, I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> But so far, it's pigmented. So, if you're a beginner in watercolor, this is something that you can buy and save some mula. I mean, I mean, if it's your first time to try watercolor, I don't really recommend that you buy expensive ones right away. Especially if you're not sure if you're gonna like watercolor. That's how I did at first. I just uh, used the cheapest one that I could grab. And then when I like... When I like, uh, when I love watercolor, when I, I learned that I like it, I just went ahead and bought other artist Bay watercolors. So yeah, uh, this is, this looks pigmented and doesn't look choky at all. So far, I haven't swatched everything, but I believe I can do washes here. I can see that there's also um, granulation in some of the blues, so that's something that's a bit surprising. Uh, it also nice. It's also nice that it comes with a sponge. I haven't really figured out what this is for, but maybe this is for calligraphy. Since, you know, um, it's a Chinese uh, set, so maybe this, this one is being used for uh, Chinese ink. Um, I'll grab another paper so that I can swatch the other colors. 
as it turned out, it wasn't uh, the, the, it wasn't recording when I swatched some of the colors. So I'm using 25% uh, Canson watercolor paper. It's for my uh, I actually bought this one for my son because he's also into watercolors. But I what I like about this paper is that it's nice for practice for for washes. But uh, it can, this this type of paper can only hold about two to three washes before it starts degrading. Okay, so but for practice, this is actually nice. Uh, so far, I like the Mary's water colors because uh, they're pigmented. Okay, so it takes just a few dabs to get um, light, light light colors there, and um, it's nice also that there. It's also nice that. Uh, it's not choky at all, which is something that I like about artist grade watercolor. So, for a student grade watercolor, this one is actually decent already. So, if you're planning to explore watercolors and don't want to spend money on on, on artist grade yet because you're not that sure if you're gonna like it, I think uh, Mary's watercolor. In, that comes in palette like this is already okay okay so I'm just doing some washes here let me see there the sky let's see if how this will fare with pink it's nice there we go it's already decent yeah so well, I cannot complain really because this I got this as a price and I'm happy that I got this as price. I cannot complain. I mean, at least now I have something to use for when I'm conducting free classes. I don't need to spend all, spend on artist grade when conducting classes like this. So, yeah. Cool. I like it. So if you plan to buy this one, uh, there are a few stores on Shopee that sells this. I'm not sure if they are legit, but uh, yeah, you can go ahead and try this one for your for you or your children. If you have kids who are into watercolors now, this is one of the cheapest that you can find that is actually decent. There, the only caveat about this one is that it doesn't. Oh yeah, it does. It does have a name here. So uh, it, ha it does have it does have a name of color for each uh, pan here. Nice. So I, I guess uh, I guess that's uh, this one would be decent enough for everyday use for just practice. But eventually, I believe uh, if you're going to like watercolors, you would probably need to also um, get artist grade that are light fast. Uh, I'm not sure if this is light fast. Oh, it does have light fast rating. So the stars that you see for each, um, the stars that you see for each um, pan or color will give you the light fastedness. So there's three rated four and even five, I think. No, four is the highest. So yeah, it's decent. Thank you to my teacher for <laughs> for picking up my name and giving me this amazing prizes so that would be all for now guys thank you for watching hi i'm back so i forgot that i'm supposed to show uh, my student how to uh, rather my clients and how to use blocks like this so actually use this usually comes with a cover but i have removed it because it gets in the way when i'm painting but um i actually have this uh, leaf leaf tool, leaf shape tool that I use for um, taking the the paper off the block but if if you have a ruler that can also work so usually when it when when you have a block you you will find a slot where you can slide a ruler or this this leaf shape tool under okay and then you just do it like this yeah that's how you remove a paper off a block so actually, I like working on a block because uh, that way I won't need to stretch my paper 
because uh, the block already holds the paper down so that uh, it doesn't buckle when I add plenty of washes. But um, the caveat of using a block is that you should use it up. You, sh you should use up all the paper and you shouldn't uh, store them in uh, in dark places while the papers are damp or the paper on top is damp because that's gonna destroy your paper so make sure that you air dry first your block before stowing it away okay so but so far I've worked on blocks and I've not had any problem because uh, because of that I just just let it air dry first before before keeping it in a safe place Okay, so guys, that's how you remove paper off a block. So you can use a ruler or one of these tools that you find in Lazada or Shopee. Okay?